When I joined Reddit about a year and a half ago, I only had vague notions about what was in store for me. But it touted itself as the front page of the internet, so I decided to take a look. One subreddit in particular piqued my interest, r Ask Reddit. Unlike subreddits like r News, whose content consists entirely of links to other websites, submissions to Ask Reddit are plain text posts with questions addressed to the Reddit community as a whole. The questions vary wildly, from simple, what's your hobby? to more interesting ones like what secret would literally ruin your life, and everything in between. With over 10 million subscribers, almost one in three Redditors visits the sub, so I figured this would be a good place to explore and get a taste for Reddit as a whole. If Reddit is the front page of the internet, then surely Ask Reddit is the front page of Reddit. The first thing I noticed with a sub this big was that it was easy for your voice to get drowned out in the sea of constant submissions. My first few attempts at posting were, by any measure, unsuccessful. I tried to figure out exactly what makes a successful Ask Reddit post and determined that there was little that I could do for certain. While successful posts tended to post at lunchtime and immediately after working hours, there was too much variety in the subject matter to get a good understanding of what constituted a successful post. Remember that post about your deepest darkest secret from earlier? It's the second most upvoted post in the entire subreddit's history. What beat it, you ask? A question about what tasty foods would be disgusting if eaten over rice. Getting my posts noticed wasn't the only hard thing about breaking into this community. Commenting on individual posts proved to be just as challenging. By the time an interesting post made its way to the front page, it usually had garnered hundreds or even thousands of comments, rendering my attempt to join in utterly futile. But it wasn't just the timing that made things hard. My first few weeks on Ask Reddit were confusing, as the community frequently used terminology that I wasn't familiar with. What's worse, commenters would frequently go meta, referencing comments from other posts, sometimes from years in the past. Eventually I got the hang of it, and I was even able to start predicting when certain references would be made based off of the question asked. My time spent getting a feel for the lay of the land paid off though, as I noticed my initial hypothesis coming true. The more time I spent on Reddit as a whole, the more I began to notice bits and pieces of conversation from Ask Reddit creeping into the rest of the site. References to famous Ask Reddit threads and responses like The Swamps of Dagobah, Jolly Ranchers, and Doritos showed up in subreddits like Today I Fucked Up, Explain Like I'm 5, and Enough Internet, far from their original home on Ask Reddit. In addition to having famous and well-known threads and comments, Ask Reddit has had several notable users as well. These users are usually made famous by some quirk in their commenting style. For example, the user Vargas commonly shows up in threads with stories or anecdotes that often start out seeming reasonable before quickly devolving into ridiculous and nonsensical rants. Like this one here about a family of squirrels squatting in a 1989 Camaro SS. Users recognize the name Vargas, and when they realize they've been duped, the response is always the same. Or take users like a wild sketch appeared or a shitty watercolor, who respond to comments entirely with pertinent hand-drawn sketches and watercolor paintings. One famous thread in our videos, about a mean brother who pushes his sister into the pool, saw both users battle each other with art, and the results were amazing. But perhaps the most famous user from Ask Reddit is, without question, Unidam. All Redditors could recognize his comments by his signature salutation, biologist here. Unidan was a doctoral student in biology at Binghamton University, and a prolific Redditor who would show up often in threads to give little points of cool biology trivia. Before long, he became a household name among Redditors, with his own subreddits and AMAs. He even has a Wikipedia page. His infectious enthusiasm was popular among users. One Ask Reddit thread in particular asked users who the president of Reddit should be, and everyone said Unidan. Well, almost everyone. His presence in Ask Reddit and elsewhere became a comforting routine, and his biological fun facts always brought a smile to my face. But, like all good things, Unidan's reign came to an end when it was discovered that he had used several fake accounts to upvote his own submissions and downvote those who disagreed with him. This blatant vote manipulation was a clear violation of Reddit's rules, so his account was shadow banned, a term used to describe a form of banning whereby Unidan's posts were made invisible to the community without his knowledge. And just like that, 
the internet turned on our once beloved biology hero. In fact, Ask Reddit is no stranger to controversy. This summer, Reddit experienced one of its biggest blackouts ever when several of the most prominent subreddits, including Ask Reddit, suddenly went private, effectively preventing all users from interacting with the community. This was done in response to Reddit's administrative staff firing a key member in charge of coordinating AMAs for undisclosed reasons. As the blackout proceeded, it became evident that the firing was only part of the reason. It soon surfaced that subreddit moderators, volunteers who are almost entirely responsible for maintaining the quality of individual communities, felt as though they were being taken advantage by the site administrators. The blackout eventually grew to include over 1,200 subreddits, and many grew worried that Reddit was going down. Eventually, Reddit's interim CEO Ellen Pau, who was largely responsible for the policies in question, stepped down and the new leadership promised to rectify their relationship with the moderators. And you'd better believe that Ask Reddit was getting questions about it when they reopened. My time on Ask Reddit was interesting to say the least, and it did show me that the subreddit was a good sample representation of the site as a whole, with famous references and users from the sub cropping up everywhere on the site. Given how diverse the tens of millions of Redditors are, it's amazing that one in three of them subscribes to a subreddit devoted entirely to dissecting the minds of other Redditors. It's a one-stop shop to peer into the minds of the site as a whole. And that's really the beauty of a community based entirely on questions. If there's anything you want to know, you need only ask.